this is the 1.8. This is going to be the smallest one. This, this tiniest one possible, the animal, you're going to be able to use this. It's, this is like a spaghetti noodle. It's so soft. Also, the black marks on here, um, recently someone had contacted me and said, can you put the black marks all the way down? Um, the issue with that is eventually they're going to come off anyways. If you want to put your own type of marks on there, you can. I, those eventually will come off as well. I put a piece of tape where I've needed to stop, um, and that has worked well even, but I, uh, when I'm finished using this, I rinse it immediately because this, if you leave formula in it, it gets really yucky and gross, so don't ever do that. You want to... Um, immediately after you finish using it, run it through hot water, which you should absolutely be doing that with all of your stuff anyway. I know uh, you get tired and everything, but that's really important. <clears throat> so, I wish I had something that I could show you how soft this is. I mean, there's no way, absolutely no way you could injure anything with this. There's, and um, show up better on this. Let me show you the other one. Okay. This is the 2.8. It's going to come like this. The 2.8 is a 20 gauge. As you can see, it is much thicker. However, it's still quite soft. I think the word flaccid, if you will. I think so. I think so. <laughs> um, let's see if I can show you a good example of how. Okay, so you can see here the difference as far as the thickness of it. There you go. Even on very small uh, babies, you can still use this one. This is the 3.8 that is incorrectly marked. It's supposed to say 3.5. Normally, I will cross that off and put a 5. I need to go through and do that for all of them, but I just haven't had a chance to.
So we've got 24 gauge, 20 gauge, and we've got 18. Now, this, see this green tip here? Do you see that it's not sharp? It's quite smushy. Oh, compare. So, um, this this is the two point two point eight. Yes. No. Someone called the 3.5 a throat slicer and there's just it's just no way possible that you're going to do that now if you you shoved it down a seven gram baby i mean i've never done that i wouldn't recommend doing that but i still don't think it would slice their throat it's still Quite soft. I'm trying to see if it does well. So you can see that there is not a ton of difference. Let me get this on. If you've ever had something pierced, I think you can relate to these um, a little bit more as far as the size goes. Or if you've ever made jewelry or, or stuff like that, then you know these sizes well or are familiar with them. There are the ends of these things. This is so hard to do with one hand. Um, So annoying. So, here we go, and I'm so sorry, it's grossing me out looking at my nails, but here. Okay. 
that is This is about the most irritating thing ever. Thank you, Apple. So yeah, anyways, I feel like you get the point. They are not sharp. They are not going to slice anybody's inside of the throat. If you can think of something that I can test these on, as far as if you want to see if they're going to cut something, uh, let me know because I, I will do that. There we go. You're so awkward trying to. Okay, so there you have all three sizes of the tubes. I don't, personally, I don't think it's necessary to have the, that smaller size that everyone has gone crazy for. I did discuss it with Brittany and actually another person that, um, helped uh, with it designing another type of tube so um, and they said the same thing because um, if we were doing microscopic uh, pinky babies sure but we're not um, this one is going to suffice also another thing this is the tiny one also another thing um, to order from the larger places you're going to have to have um, to set up a, a credit account with them I was going to do that myself but um, I was a bit turned off of the process so I didn't do that um, another thing is They're $20 for one, for one of these. Um, we have them significantly cheaper, I feel like. And there's no minimum order. And they run out quite frequently. I know that we ran out last season. But... I don't, I, I'm thinking that we're not going to this time. I hope we don't, just because um, that was not a fun time f for all of you and myself, because I was freaking out. Um, so I think that's about it. As far as 
that goes. I don't have any tubers at the moment. Now that I say that, I will probably have some tomorrow. The only animal dilemma I had today was there were, uh, so I'm assuming there's somebody's ducks were in the road and then uh, a massive owl in the road, but he was able to fly away. Thank goodness it was really uh, bad a thunderstorm tonight here. So anyways, I'm finished rambling now. Hopefully that helped. Um, I'm sorry this was quite boring. I'll do something more exciting next time. Maybe we can go, th go through my medicine cabinet or something. I'm not sure. Let me know. Let me know what you want. What you would like me to do. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right.